Chris, thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Look, uh, tell me about the, uh, no pun intended, the genesis, uh, if mm -hmm. you will, since this is somewhat biblical, uh, about how this all got started. Explain to our viewers what this is about and how it came to be. Well, you have a, a market segment, if you will, a subset of the Christian marketplace, 41 million Americans who have been largely marginalized and underserved by American brands. Look at our economy, and you've got all of these groups, uh, the LGBT community, the Hispanic, the African American, and they all have special relationships with brands. Well, we discovered within the Christian marketplace, 70% of the people who are actively looking for brand engagement. 77% of them are willing to change brands if the brand will just reach out. So we created the community, and then so that consumers would have a transparent guide, we created the Faith Equality Index. So 300 companies currently have been reviewed, and the consumer group can look at those companies and decide who they want to do business with. Hmm. So tell me a little bit about the best way for folks that are, are watching this can actually go about and, and make it easy enough for them to understand what companies they may want to go with. How, how do they go through the process? Well, here? the best thing to do is to engage on the website. There is an action center there at uh, Christmas Bicot, christmasbicot.com, and it listed out step by step how to research companies because it's right there for you and how to engage them in a very positive and proactive way. What's the, what's the uh, ultimate goal here that you want to get through to make sure Christians are having their say, uh, you know, through, through, mm -hmm. through, through their wallets and through the uh, company's wallets? Well, you know, it's, it's a great question. We have heard time and time again from brands that compared to other communities, Christians are very quiet. So here's an opportunity for them to proactively engage, to look at the survey, pick a company uh, based on the ratings, and to boycott as opposed to a boycott. A boycott is to not do business with someone because they're not in alignment with your values or your beliefs. The problem is, is if you did that in a strict sense, there would be no one to do business with. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's a negative concept, and the boycott is a positive concept. You reward people for the behavior that you seek, mm -hmm. and it's a wonderful opportunity to engage with companies, to do business with them, to form a relationship from which the things that you want to achieve can be accomplished. It's a social purpose opportunity. Hmm. How did you come up with, or how, how is the index uh, arrived at, if you will? What, what goes into it? What factors, what algorithms, or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it? How, how is this all kind of put together well, exactly? Well, we take the major uh, U.S. brands, the companies that people do business with the most, yeah. and we developed a survey. And this survey is, is formulated on a uh, methodology that has worked for other communities. You send the survey to the companies, you rate them based upon the responses to that survey, and you come up with a faith compatibility. How well are they engaging? Now what you'll notice if you look at the scores, they're all relatively low. And we haven't found that there's a mass conspiracy to exclude Christians. What we have found is that there is a mass indifference or a mass uh, ignorance to the fact that this community exists and as we brought it up to people they're actually stepping up and engaging uh, Christian consumers and they're working through this survey to improve their scores and if you look at it diversity is uh, a big issue in uh, the American marketplace and these companies are looking at it at, through a diversity lens and they're benchmarking themselves based upon the the survey mm -hmm. and they're using it as a as a leading indicator and a trailing indicator. How well are we doing at engaging these consumers?